What's up YouTube, Jay here. Just wanted to show you guys how the 29 gallon is starting to fill in. Um, sorry I haven't posted a video in quite a long time. Um, been super busy with work lately and um, just haven't really had time to do any videoing. Um, also, honestly, I haven't had a whole lot to um, report really. Um, my tank's been on kind of autopilot for a while. Um, everything's still doing really well. Um, but everything's just been in kind of like a stable growth period right now. You can see um, real quickly first how much the uh, the narrow leaf changed what has grown in. Um, if you look at any of my previous videos, you can see where I originally planted everything. It's now kind of um, overgrown. All these um, all these little plants at the bottom are new growth or new plants that I've replanted after I trimmed them off. They look they all look kind of like that. Um, so. One observation about chain sword, um, somebody had mentioned this to me earlier, but it takes you kind of a first hand experience before you realize what they're talking about. Um, this plant grows like a weed. I mean, if you want a plant that grows really fast, go for it. But if you want a plant that grows fast, but it's low maintenance, this isn't the best plant um, because I am literally in this tank every weekend trimming away. Um, chainsaw that's gone, you know, and like into the back of the tank and over to the side into my crypt over here, you know. It's just, you know, I don't mind because I like messing with my tanks and I like, you know, I like the whole process, so I don't mind getting my hands wet, you know, clipping plants and stuff, but if you're not into that type of thing, don't get chainsawed because it takes a lot to control this beast. Um, so, I haven't really trimmed it down since I got it. We'll probably do that in the near future just because it's getting so overgrown. Um... My ram, my German blue ram, does like swimming in the in the jungle, so to speak. But um, I might trim that down just a little bit. Um, Reineke's still doing really well. Uh, this patch over here is starting to get a little bit of height to it. Um, so that's nice. Uh, you can see the CO2 right there in the background. Still doing really well. Um, this stand, you know, is pretty much overgrown. Note on the Reineke, though, this is purely um, an aesthetic thing, you know, the kind of thing that irritates me, but... I really, really, really do not like the look of these long white trailing roots. I know it's a stem plant and you can't avoid that, um, but yeah, the fact that the roots climb the whole stem all the way to the top, I don't know, I kind of think it looks kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain, I just don't really like the look of it. Um, but yeah, it's just a minor complaint about that, but everything's still really red, um, so that plant's doing fine. Um, this crypt right here is still doing really well. Uh, survived my last uh, move nicely, so didn't experience any melt or anything. This one in the back, same type of deal. Doesn't really get direct um, light from the light fixture, but still does okay in the background right there. And also I have the sword right here in the back, which I didn't know if it would do well or not, but it actually does, does really well right there next to the filter intake. Um, still really green and uh, putting off new leaves, so kind of surprised me. I didn't think it would uh, do as well since it's not directly in the middle of the tank like the last one. So yeah, 29 is still doing really well. Um, on the filter that I put in there, that Fluval 206, awesome filter. It keeps the water so clear. Um, really recommend Fluval canister filters. Had a really good experience with them. Um, so yeah, fish. Fish still doing really well. The rasboras are healthy, looking good. Love those fish. Angelfish is kind of chilling up there. Um, I would try to find my ram, but I know he's in here somewhere, and I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna search for him because he's probably in the the chainsword somewhere. So, anyways, this tank's still looking really good. Got some work to do on the 20 long, um, so I'll show you guys a bit of that maybe tomorrow. Um, this has been my maintenance maintenance day, so I've been literally working on all three of my tanks pretty much for hours. Um, but yeah, getting them into shape so I can show you guys the video of them. So I'll bring a video soon of the 10 gallon and the 20 long so you guys can see what they're doing. But as always, um, for everybody that watches my videos, I really appreciate it. Um, actually, I just got to 50, I think I just got to 50 subscribers. So not a whole lot, but it's exciting to me because, you know, I didn't really think anybody would care, <laughs> you know, what I was doing with my tank. So really, I uh, really appreciate that. Love watching everybody else's vids. All, all, to all the people that I subscribe to, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I take a lot of inspiration, and 
might steal a few ideas from you guys now and then, but uh, love where the hobby's going with all my friends on YouTube. So thanks, guys. See you in a bit. Peace.